Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again. Ooh, okay. <laughs> 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 Better I cutting this. I told you how before I started recording, get you right. <laughs> We're recording this video because uh -huh. we've been having an argument for a very long time. Who? And well, us. This Me discussion you? always comes up, yeah. Oh and my God. I don't know how many people are actually going to see this video, but for those of you who do see it, and if by any chance you are or turn out to be a fan or have ever watched the show called Bodyguard, and no, it's not the Bodyguard, it's a Bodyguard. If you guys have ever seen this show, you guys probably know that what it's about and you know what happens and all of that. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't, it it's it's kind of similar to the whole movie, but it has absolutely nothing to do with it. You know, no. But if you talk about the girl and the guy, and it kind of you do kind of get that whole went on too. So I guess. And then he is a bodyguard, so yeah. that too. And then they kind of don't end up together at the end either way, like the movie. Yeah. So mm. well, you gonna watch her? But I mean, it's <laughs> that one is still unwritten because they got picked up for a season <laughs> two. Props to them, congratulations, because it's a really good show. I recommend it to anybody. Uh, so yeah, if you guys haven't seen good. it, go ahead and watch it. It's, it's really good. Yes. Where are they from? I like her. <laughs> if you guys, for those of you, okay, spoilers ahead. If you guys haven't seen the show, you're about to get real spoiled. For those of you who have seen the show. You know that Julia Montague, which is a character that was played by the actress Kelly Haas. For all of you who know her, know that she got killed by a bomb. Well, supposedly she got killed by a bomb. <laughs> and David Budd, which was played by Richard Madden, or is played by Richard Madden because his character is still pretty much alive. He's the main character of the show. I mean, I kind of figured they were both very, like, equally important to the show, so I was kind of confused when they killed her off, but okay. But he's the main character of the show, so he's still alive. He couldn't save her, he couldn't get to her on time or whatever. Shout out to that, by the way, because she lives in the UK and that's where the bodyguard, well, bodyguard is shot at. So, hey, them. We were, oh, we've always Period. argued about, you know, is she really dead or is she not? And is it, you know, why should she be dead or why should she come back? We both had our, our opinions and we kind of had come should to peace with that. And then recently, I, I think it's called, yeah, it's the Red Nose Day. It's in the UK. They do it here too in the United States. A little bit different, but it's kind of the same concept. And it, they kind of do, they do television skits and whatever. And like people that have shows over there, like locally, you know, and even like internationally, mm -hmm. they shoot, you know, like a little skit. And Jed Mercurio, who is the creator oh, and writer yeah. of Bodyguard, did a skit mm -hmm. representation so for the show. You know, every show kind of did their own little thing. and you know for that day to kind of raise money for charity which you know is always a really good thing and it kind of had to do with the bodyguard scenario scenario and he bought he brought david back he brought you know a couple of people back and then you know obviously there was like a a person that was not julia who kind of like was supposed to be her replacement and whatnot but then towards the end she was kind of back there hiding in the trunk of the car the whole time and it kind of seemed like David was the one hiding her in the trunk of the car because he was, you know, when the cop came, he kind of seemed scared, like, oh, I don't want to open the trunk. So now it's kind of like, okay, is she alive? Is she dead? Because I me, my sister thought she was dead, and my sister, you know, she was like, okay, whatever, he killed her, he killed her. Obviously, she liked her character, she enjoyed her. Did you like Julia? Yeah, she was like, mm -hmm. say that again. <laughs> My bitch, really? Hey. Did you get you a fine ass businessman, like older too? But you know, they'd be like young with age. You don't think David is good looking? Okay, but the young. Baby, what is he doing? So I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, who, who hit on who first? I think she kissed him first. Uh -huh. But he, but he went for it. He was the one that said, oh, this is what's happening? Okay, let's go. No, I'm good. I don't know. It was 50 50 because to lay down and have sex, it takes two people. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps saying, You want that face with me? Like, no. <laughs> so we could touch a body later. Mom. I really like Julia. I really enjoyed her character. So I wanted down. her to be alive. At the look of your eyes. I don't really, I didn't really look at the age difference. I mean, I, I can see why you think that, but then again, you're a little bit way younger than me, so you know I see it from the perspective. I didn't even. Where did my burger go? <laughs> We're back. 
once again. The debate is, mm -hmm. since watching the sketch, because this is the thing, I wanted Julia to be alive, but because, you know, Jad Mercurio, who, like I said, is the creator of the show, and Keely Halls, who, you know, played Julia, they were both very adamant that she was dead, that gone, blah. I was kind of like, okay, I'm extremely hurt. And it's funny because to this day, people are still very like, no, she's alive, she's alive. And it's like, okay, hey, I'm with you. I'm with mm -hmm. you. I feel you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I figure, hey, she's gone. You know, he, if he said no, then she's gone, dude. Like, we're going to have to cry about it. See if season two can pull through. Let's see how it goes, and then we'll go from there. And then he goes and he does this. So it's kind of like, hmm, are you trying to for us, or are you trying to be cute or funny or... Um, what do you think she said? About what? Like, uh, she said, <coughs> damn, I just spit, but it's a good life. What do you think? Or I, what would you like to see happen in season two? I feel like she just got, like, I feel like she knew that it was going to happen and, like, it just, like, didn't like it. Like, like, she didn't know that it was going to happen. Like, like, she just knew that she had no, like, they're they gonna play her like missing probably. I can't. Ella no She was a very smart woman, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> she was on deck. Like, big try again. My thing is, if she is alive, which I would really hope she is, I think oh, she could pull it off. I think she could be alive. Yeah. Obviously, she is gonna have some type of like scar with their friends because I mean, she was like right there, bitch. Like, but. She has a lot of money and i'm pretty sure that she knows a lot of powerful people and i'm pretty sure she has a lot of powerful connections so if she had a lot of enemies i'm pretty sure she had a lot of allies too so if she needed to hide and she needed people to handle for her and take care of her i'm pretty sure she had that handle now where david comes in that's where it's a little tricky because at first when the show first started i i kind of this is where i didn't have a lot of information on how british shows worked i didn't know that you guys worked everything really fast because each season is like six episodes here in america you know like one season equals like 20 plus episodes so you know you there a long time you there a man that getting to know everybody it goes down and then you get a resolution and then not even because they get you intrigued for the second one which here was different because the ending of the show it was kind of like hmm. but it kind of it, it felt very resolutioned so in a way it kind of like if they didn't come back then okay that would have been the end of the show but if they do come back it's going to be interesting to see what was going to come to the table regardless of the fact we didn't know that everything went on so fast so when i was watching the preview how i saw it was like okay he starts thinking she's a bad person. He starts to spy on her, to you know, which he kind of did. And then as he, as he gets to know her, he starts to realize that she's really not that a bad person. And then obviously you could tell in, by the even by the trailer that there was kind of like an attraction between them, which we were saying, you said that, oh, they're like the age difference. But I said, okay, whatever, you know, you, you choose who you like. Sometimes it's not the most adequate person ever. And then for other people, but then for you, that's who you like. That's who you want to be with. Do I really look like this? <laughs> I thought that you know there was gonna be an attraction and whatever I didn't think everything was gonna happen so fast and then you know boom she died so you know to a lot of people it might seem like it was just like a sexual relationship or it was just like a means to an end but I think you know I think she's an extremely grown woman and he's he's a grown ass man too we didn't think that everything was gonna happen so fast yeah so it's kind of like you know, at the end of the day, he's a grown person, she's a grown person, and I feel like, you know, if they, if they did what they did, it was more than just, we're just going to have sex, especially with everything that they had to risk. So, obviously, she was important to him, he was important to her, I mean, her last words to him were like, you know, I want us to, be, I mean, how I interpreted it was like, I want us to be together, and I'm willing to risk, you know, face whatever I have to, to be with you, and I just want to make sure that you're willing to do the same thing, too. Who said so, that? Didn't you hear the last words? She was like... I want you to be with me now because you work for me, you know, not because you have to, but because it's, it's our choice. That's letting me know you want to be with me. Like, you really, really want to be with me for real, for real. And you want to make sure I want to be with you for real, for real. So that's that's strong coming from a person like that, you know, like herself. So, you know, like important and whatever the third was going on with her. I don't know. I feel like I was accepting the fact that she was not coming back. And then, boom, 
Jed did this, so Jed, baby, I hold you very accountable for this. <laughs> and I expect Julia Montague to be back, period. I just want her to show up and be like, hey, baby, I'm back. I miss me. So I think that would be very interesting. You know, hey, Jed, I got ideas. Call me. What do you guys think? Let us know. Mm, Loki, oh, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Even if Julia doesn't come back, I do not want him to end up with his ex-wife, and I'm going to tell you why. No, I'm not hating on her. I don't have anything against Becky. I don't think she's a bad person, and I understand. I respect, you know, that she's the mother of David's children. Like, you have to be realistic. You know, that has to be a good relationship. They're tied for life. But I feel like the whole season, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things that happen between them, and that's why made her kind of be so aggressive towards him, which is understandable. You can't judge her, but at the same time, I feel like the whole time she was kind of shoving down his throat the fact that she had a boyfriend and you know he slept over and she was serious about him and the kids spending time with him like that's you serious about him because you just don't be doing that with uh, somebody that you know like you serious so mm -hmm. and at the end like oh we're all gonna leave in a minivan to the mountain somewhere like why excuse me like Julia hasn't even turned correctly in her like grave and you already like what no put some respect on my bitch's name please okay put some respect on her name I think she's a bad bitch I just think she's a bad bitch and I think David needs a bad bitch next to him because he's a bad bitch himself okay y'all let us know what you what y'all think